Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer brewed at Mikeller SD, so it's Mikeller San Diego, they have a brewery out there, and this is in collaboration with a new exciting uh, brewery that should hopefully be opening up maybe next year, uh, Root & Branch, so uh, including a couple figures within the New York City craft beer scene that will be opening up a brewery on Long Island, so really exciting, they've put out some amazing hazy IPAs so far, so with the few beers they've actually put out, they're actually on the untapped top rated breweries in the world. So congratulations to Root and Branch, but this is not a hazy. This is a dry hopped oat pilsner called Revival Tactics coming at 4.1%. So let's dig into this uh, collaboration. Beer comes in a light straw color, medium uh, minus haze to it, eggshell white head, um, getting a little bit rocky on there. Very nice, let's get the rum on this one. A little bit of that perfumey floral lavender quality. Hints of citrus. The, like kind of like vanilla grainy malt in there. Vanilla cracker with that kind of like sweet graininess. Yeah, there's a really wonderful, just like, uh, it has almost like a um, angel cake, uh, angel uh, cake, uh, angel hair, it, what, what's it called? What am I thinking of? That pan thing that you buy at uh, the Costco, BJ's, the, the, the sweet angel cake thing that comes in that mold thing. I haven't had one in so long, but you know what I'm talking about. It has that kind of like, like kind of like, sugary sweet like almost like um a, a, a pound cake kind of thing yeah you guys know what i'm talking about cheers angel food cake anyway on the palate has a little bit of that kind of light sweetness to it there is a little bit of this like lemon meringue playing in there with that kind of vanilla a sweetness um oats i don't know maybe maybe a little bit of like velvety quality up front, but that's only because I know there's uh, oats in here. I uh, wouldn't probably be able to figure it out without knowing that. Um, on the back end, a little bit of like uh, grassiness, uh, drying this beer out. It's a really light, refreshing crusher pills. Maybe a little bit too much citrus I was talking about. Maybe it's really towards more towards grass and I'm probably leaning towards, maybe this was no, I can't. I don't think it's just straight size. There's got to be something in here, like, you know, maybe a Mandarin or Bavaria or something a little bit more uh, new, but hmm. possibly. I don't know. I would guess something newer, not just straight traditional uh, hopping, but really nice. Um, I like that there's a little bit of this soft quality uh, front on the mouthfeel. It has a little bit of that kind of water texture in the middle where it has sort of lays on your palate, but then it ends up nice and dry. Um, it's also, some Pilsner is a little bit more dense, and the 4.1% sort of like does a great job at being on the lower spectrum of the ABV range for Pilsner, but still being crushable, having flavor, because it has that kind of like light dryness and snappiness on the back end. Um, it's a fantastic beer. Like this is definitely a crushing, uh, crusher of a Pils, as for a rating. What else are we gonna drink these days? Delicious, 92. Revival Tactics, absolutely fantastic. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.